Let's take a look at my advanced trainer now. This airplane is a design I based on the Cessna 01 Bird Dog. It's got a high wing, it's got flaps, and the outer section of the wing panels taper just like in the full-size Cessna. All right, so we have flaps in this airplane. Took a couple of uh, iterations to get the length of these uh, flat pivots correct. The initial ones were too short. These ones have worked out really, really good. So an individual servo for each flap and then another servo for each aileron. This aircraft is a tail dragger, a fairly nose high attitude uh, when it's on the ground. This landing gear is bent from stock 1 8 inch aluminum and it's got lightweight electric wheels. There's a Turnigy G15 motor. This was not the original motor. The original motor uh, was a used motor from another craft. I used it until it burned up and then bought this G15 and it hasn't flown with it yet. That's brand new. All right, so here we have a look inside. There is the servos for the rudder and the elevator. Hmm, let's see if I can get out of the light here. Okay, so the receiver is Velcroed here to the wall. Its secondary receiving unit is Velcroed underneath the uh, wing mounting block there. We've got a a Thunder Tiger speed controller. Let's see if we can get in there and take a look at that. So Thunderbird 36. And battery access is underneath the fuselage. Let's see if I can we'll just rotate this out of the way, pull up the hatch and then pull it back. And that exposes the battery compartment. All right. So here's the Velcro straps for holding down the battery. And the battery slides forward as far as it'll go into this bottom compartment here. All right, so these gaps in the lower fuselage are for cooling air exit. The front end has air intakes on the top and on the sides of the motor. And this aircraft is a veteran of many flights. So I created this so that I could uh, learn and teach about uh, flap operations. And it's been a lot of fun. It can land very, very, very slowly. Um, I tried at first to have a castering tail wheel, but I've since changed that to a rigid arrangement. Let me see if we can get a, there we go. Okay, so that's just a regular wire tie holding onto the hook there, and there's a screw embedded in the rudder. It's mostly open framework. The construction has 1 8 inch formers with uh, cap strips running across the top of them to give a wider space purchase for the uh, covering. And the hinges are all made of covering material. So that way they have as good a flex as possible. That goes the same for the ailerons. And the flaps are the only exception because the flaps are individual units and they rotate on a pivot point that's at least one inch off of the surface of the wing. All right, there we go. So let's put this together, put a battery into it and take it out in the yard and... It's a walk around of the advanced trainer.
fashioned after a Cessna bird dog. Taking a look at the wing here, we have outboard ailerons and inboard flaps. I'm going to grab the radio. And activate the flaps. 